Hi everybody, it's Victoria. This is my second Halloween costume. As you can tell, I am a Hooters girl. And I've got the whole costume. I've got the kids and the high socks and the pantyhose and the shorts, the Hooter shirt, the tits, and if you can see, my name tag is even on there. So it's legit, except I have never worked at a, as a Hooters girl. I was a waitress at a fancy restaurant while once at the keg. Um, it's a steakhouse here in Canada. And um, so I've done it in the past. I was a terrible waiter slash waitress, but uh, I'm sure I could be a much better Hooters girl, especially if I taped the glasses to the thing. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to talk today about obviously my costume. Also, I have a very special guest with me today. And I wanted to talk about the Halloween slash transgender experience with Halloween. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, by the way, my Instagram is almost.instant.victoria. And I already talked a little bit about it, but um, Halloween is kind of like cross-dresser slash transgender Christmas. So before I transitioned, it was the one time of the year I was able to dress as a woman and um, nobody questioned it. It was my chance to let her out and it was a really big deal for me. I would wait 364.25 days for that chance to dress up. Um, the one thing that was really dangerous for me was trying a little bit too hard, knowing how to walk a little bit too good. All of those things definitely, definitely made it more difficult to um, really let myself fully out. Um, it's okay to walk okay in heels, but you don't want to be really good in heels if you've supposedly never put them on, for example. So that's one thing that I had to be kind of careful of. I could do a really good job, but I couldn't do an extremely good job. <laughs> so um, these days, uh, I'm no longer wearing a Halloween costume on top of a Halloween costume. It's kind of like before I would have to do a double backflip. I was a woman pretending to be a man dressed as a woman. <laughs> now, I'm a woman dressed as a Hooters girl. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a difference. Um, comment in the comments, put a comment down there if um, you think that uh, the Hooters costume is better or if you think the um, Supergirl costume is better. Just let me know, because uh, I'm still kind of undecided because this costume is pretty, freaking epic, but um, it's also a little bit, um, I don't know, <laughs> it's a little bit too much. Anyways, um, being trans and being a cross-dresser is one of those things when Halloween kind of gives you license. You know, for heterosexual people, um, straight, cis, heterosexual people, Halloween is their opportunity to be scandalous. You know, the girls can slut it up and no one says anything. The guys can exhibit some toxic form of masculinity and no one says anything. Um, for for cross-dressers and trans people though, it's their chance to um, be themselves, which is kind of the exact opposite of everybody else. Everyone else does something that they feel is their chance to kind of go out there and step out of themselves. It's their license to try something new. Whereas for cross-dressers and trans people, um, especially me, I mean, I was such a big thing for me. I was such a crazy Halloween person and no one understood why. <laughs> now it kind of makes sense. Anyways, um, it was my chance to be myself that one time of the year. Um, and of course, I couldn't do it every year because that would also be a thing. So it was maybe once every two years that I got to dress up and to be myself. And imagine how terrible that was. Uh, yeah, there's no drinks in there. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, I wanted to introduce you to someone very special to me. The special guest has arrived. It's me, Supergirl. <laughs> so this is my other costume option for Halloween. Supergirl, I got a cape really short skirt which is a little bit too much for me not so comfortable but you know whatever i got my ass cheeks showing um and the crest 
I, it's not really made for these boobs, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> it's Halloween. It's my opportunity to slide it up. <laughs> and uh, your arms are too short, but whatever, it was only 30 bucks. So this is my other costume. As you can see, I'm wearing fishnets and heels, so I'm very tall. Six foot six, give or take. <laughs> I'm going to tower over everyone else at the party. So this is the other option. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Um, that Hooters girl's gone. <laughs> I don't want to change back. Forget it. So this is the other choice. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm leaning towards Hooters girl just because it's shorts and I can sit and get drunk and not have to stress too much then. But uh, let me know what you think. I really like Superman but I didn't want to dress as Superman. <laughs> so it's Supergirl it is. Anyways, um, like and subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.